What is going on guys and welcome back. Today we are going to be doing our first open world PvP, PvP general discussion. And um, I'm accompanied by uh, my boy Whiskey, who uh, streams on Twitch. Make sure you go check him out. So let's just jump into this first one that um, AGS could learn a few things from. Maybe they'll take some notes. Let's just dive right in. When I first started this game, I was PvE heavy. Didn't give a crap about PvP, right? I got so... It got to the point where I just didn't want to do it no more. I was tired of getting shards from mutations. I was tired of queuing up with randoms. I was tired of it going smooth, like not going smooth. And it just, I got burned out. Once I got uh, multiple gears sets at 625, it was just like, okay, another dungeon, really. It just didn't seem like it was something that was worth doing anymore. And then I got into PvP, and that's all I care about. It's something that I will always do. I don't care about PvE anymore, which takes me to the battle pass. So when you can get a free battle pass, right? The top regular tier. Yeah. And then if you want to spend twenty dollars for the premium, everything looks good on paper. But when you're opening up crates for the free or the bot, you're getting PvE sandworm or you know uh dungeon gear i don't care about getting dungeon mutator chess pieces it doesn't work for me i don't want it why should i be forced to have it you know especially if i'm like okay the sandworm is one thing that's that's an event and everything but when i'm paying 20 bucks these sandworm gear stuff like i don't care doesn't I'm never doing the sandworm I don't want to do it I shouldn't be forced to do it because I'm spending $20 for gear that's on the battle pass so my solution was thinking hey what if they had the option of two battle passes that was a PVE and a PVE which means that if you want to do both you're getting more money in your pocket so for AGS just, AGS is going to get more money in their pocket well yeah because they ha you have more options now you can you can get the PVP uh, premium with the free PvP gear, or you can do PvE, or you can do both. You know, it's up to what you want to do. But I don't think that as a player, I should be forced to pay, not forced to be to pay twenty dollars, but to you know, forced to. Once I do pay, this is what I'm getting. A you good know? example of that, for instance, for your like, let's say this is a there is a like there's a free track, there's a PVE track, and a PvP track. On the PvP track, you could actually have like craft mods that actually matter for PvP. Like, could you imagine if we could get some craft mods in there, like stuff that we never see, like refreshing, uh, refreshing move and stuff like that. Like that would be huge in a paid oh, PvP track. Absolutely. You know, you definitely there's a fine line though. You definitely don't want it to be paid to win. True. Very true. Um, you know, so, but then again, there's nothing wrong with somebody getting a couple of, uh, you know, attribute mods so they could go craft, like, you know, the Linen Arcane or Iron Battle Metal. Those things are worth a lot of money. It'd be nice to be able to, hey, if I'm spending $20 throw some of that stuff in a crate on a on a battle pass it didn't have to be a crazy amount maybe if it's even least... a random roll to get that kind of stuff like at least it's exactly. better than what we currently have going on exactly i mean like it takes 25 of those things to roll one piece with a scarab that's a lot you know so it'd just be a nice incentive to be able to have that type of thing in the battle pass you know i don't want sandworm gear i'm never gonna do the sandworm i spent 20 bucks on that battle pass the premium and unfortunately that's the stuff i'm getting and i understand that this is probably part of the whole transmog thing because it's cool skins and stuff and so you can possibly turn them into whatever piece you want as far as i um but still give me pvp that's what i want that's what i'll buy but there's a lot of people that'll buy both. Very true. Me, my, me myself, I have no reason to do PVE anymore. It's just not something I like to do. And I just think it would be for AGS. It'd be a smart move for them because they're getting double their money. Because now you've implemented two different battle passes for, for a certain kind of player. I would 100% pay for a PVP battle pass. I had no inclination or 
anything about buying the regular one. I, I saw what was on it. There's not even any gear slot uh, things on it. So I was like, I'm not, it's not worth my time. So exactly right there with you. So as you can tell, Whiskey's got some beautiful ideas on how to increase AGS's revenue as well as keep the PVP community happy. Uh, just one simple thing you guys can do. Uh, I hope AGS, you know, once again, I said, I, th I hope they're taking some notes and they're taking this feedback uh, genuinely because we really do love the PVP in New World. So I hope you guys appreciate the content. I appreciate you all. Peace out.